We don't know if it's going to be in a spectacular crash of the equity market and then a flood of money, you know, and, and therefore initial deflation and a flood of money afterwards, or if it's going to be in kind of the mush zone where, you know, or, or, if you, or even if it's a crack up boom. I mean, it's entirely possible that they are going to just keep on doing stim, you know, the Fed balance sheet is going to go to 100 billion or 100 trillion and, you know, gasoline is going to cost $100. I mean, we could go the Venezuela route where, you know, they keep the system going, but the inflation, I mean, we're not just talking three or four or 5% inflation. Of course, that's what they report, but in reality, it's closer to 10. You know, it's, it, it, it's a real, it's, it's a problem. Let's close <laughs> the conversation back on sound money now. You've yeah. given me a few assets already, gold, silver, mining companies, oil. You also mentioned to me offline Bitcoin. Yeah, you like I'm, a, Bitcoin. I'm a big proponent of Bitcoin. And unfortunately, a lot of people in the gold business, um, are, you know, don't take the time to understand and study Bitcoin, and they should. Yeah. Um, and, and, and it's tricky because there are a lot of, you know, quote unquote, shit coins and other alternatives. There's a lot of pump and dump. I mean, crypto is full of a lot of messy stuff that leads sound, typical sound money investors to go, oh, that's all bullshit. I'm not even going to look at it. OK, that's the wrong conclusion. You should look at the core base crypto out there, which is Bitcoin, and you should recognize what it is technologically. And what I would say that is, is it's an incredible innovation. Because if you think about what money is, money is nothing more than a ledger. I mean, before we had gold or currencies or anything else, we sat in caves and we kept score of, I killed one bison, you killed two bison, you owe me one, you know, et cetera. So money is just a way of keeping track of who owes who what, right? And if you can create a digital ledger that is immutable and can't be cheated on, that's arguably, arguably even sounder as, as a form of money than gold because it's triple entry accounting. Everyone can see it. Whereas with gold, they've managed to corrupt the gold price because the central banks have got control of, of, of the banks and the banks have control of the gold and they've created a lot of paper gold. So, so in, a, in a sense, what that makes is it makes Bitcoin as the only, there's the loudest monetary fire alarm in the system right now. So, you know, one of the things I would say to you is most gold bugs feel the way I do, which is, they're astounded that here we are with the most massive money printing operation in the history of the world. I mean, 30% of the money in existence has been created in the last year and a half, two years, yeah. right? And yet gold's not at all time high. I mean, what's up with that, right. right? I mean, it should be, you know, and yet Bitcoin noticed. I mean, Bitcoin went from 10 to 60, right? Well, people argue there are three characteristics of money. Right. Something has to be a store of value, something has to be a medium of exchange, and a unit of account. Right. All three things have to be satisfied. Do you think Bitcoin meets Bit these characteristics? Ab absolutely. Bitcoin meets them all in spades. In fact, arguably, because its stock to flow is going to be, is, with the next having its stock to flow will be um, better than gold's, you know, it's arguably better than gold. In terms of, um, you know, uh, um, the other two characteristics it meets as well, the only thing it doesn't meet, it's not as easy to transact in today, although it's easier than gold. I mean, people aren't using gold coins to do transactions, but that's all gonna get solved. I mean, go look at Strike, go look at Jack Mahler's, go look at the Lightning Network. Yes. They're, gonna, they're gonna solve that. So, you know, yes, I do think that Bitcoin is emerging as a very important form of sound money.